When I was in high school, I used to wear a lot of Abercrombie and Fitch clothes because I thought it made me look cool, which is ironic because it did the opposite. And also no amount of cotton can make this kid look cool. Recently, Abercrombie and Fitch, as well as his sister company Hollister, are under new management and decided to change things. Companies start changing things under a few circumstances. Number one, their customers get bored and they make less money. Number two, they're selling less shirts and making less money. Or number three, they get accused of being douchebags and make less money. Abercrombie has all three of these problems. So the company has decided to go with the less sexualized look. And if you've ever accidentally walked into any of these stores, you knew immediately because if you look at the walls, you're instantaneously horny. Oh snap, now I want to have sex. The company said in a statement that the brand is moving to a customer-centric store operating model and making it more convenient, friendlier, and easier to shop. That's business people talk for, we trying to make money off of kids now. They decided to tone back on the heavy spraying of cologne, dark lighting, loud music, and to desexualize their staff. I used to be in love with a girl who worked at Abercrombie because she was goddamn beautiful. I had no idea Abercrombie and I had the same taste in women until just now. I should get girl advice from them. Would she smash me in this shirt? or in this shirt. Recently, Abercrombie faced a Supreme Court case over its refusal to hire a Muslim woman because her headscarf violated the company's policy. Abercrombie be like, I'm sorry, but your religious values are standing in our way of sexualizing you. You gotta get out of here now. But it's interesting that they've decided to pull back on some of the things that made them stand out as a brand. Although it's probably a good thing because if people are choking in your store because you're basically gas chambering them, it might be time for a change. There's usually a guy standing here to tell you that you look bad, but I don't see him. You're aware that Abercrombie models are almost always shirtless or bikini and they've released some new photos of their new look like this one of this woman you know standing there being beautiful and this one of these cool kids walking on a beach or something like always it's different though because we can barely see their jiggly bits now the reason i had to stop wearing abercrombie clothes is when i read the comment their ceo said in every school there are the cool and popular kids and then there are the not so cool kids we go after the cool kids a lot of people don't belong and they can't belong damn i was in my first year of college when i read that and i immediately knew that it just wasn't for me i would wear this but i've definitely watched watched anime before. I'm not one of those cool kids and quite frankly, I don't wanna be. So I stopped shopping there and haven't put on one of their shirts since. Does my 40 bucks matter to them, which is way too much for a shirt anyway? Probably not, but I'm glad I'm no longer tarnishing their brand because I watch Doctor Who instead of hanging out with this girl. This is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life. I gotta go. Even though I wish I was, her face is nice. So what do you guys think about all of this? If you like Abercrombie, will you stop shopping there? If you don't, will you consider it? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm William Hayes. I left Abercrombie at least three minutes ago and I still smell like their cologne. Would you smash? Probably not. Give me just about five minutes and I'll fill you in on what you absolutely need to know this weekend. This is the loop. Yo mama's so ugly that she looked like somebody that I saw in a National Geographic book. Ah!